Okay, so here we have the EK water cooling system, the 240LT, installed in the case. The installation of this uh, water cooling kit was pretty straightforward. Um, I've had to send the radiator back and have it replaced, however, because the radiator it originally came with had a leak in it. Um, but that was turned around in quite a, a nice amount of... Uh, time which I didn't have to wait for very long. Here we can see the radiator at the top of the case. Let me just move that a little bit out of the way. Um, and the actual EK kit going down to the pump and reservoir at the bottom. Pump is actually really quiet. Um, I can hardly hear it when I was testing it for leaks. Um, and let's just see if we can get these fans turned down and then you'll be able to see what I mean so if I just turn these fans all the way down the noise that you're hearing on the fans on the actual radiator itself because I can't control them at the moment these fans we've got here on the Fractal Arc case have just all but stopped as I've turned them off. And let's see if we can't get close to the pump so you can kind of. So that's hopefully going to be the noise, and I'm just running, uh, I'm just folding at the moment, so bear with me a second, I'll get back up to my monitor and show you the kind of temperatures that we're dealing with. Here we've got my CPU running, folding at home, uh, it's a dispute computing initiative by Stanford University, uh, if you sign up for it, Google it, um, it's a bit fun and you're helping science, and uh, who doesn't like science, I mean science? Okay, so we've got the temperatures here. It's 100% load on each core. 26, 26, 19, 25 is the coolest temperature we've got. 44, 44, 37, 42 is the hottest we've ever been in this machine since I've put the kit in. Now, on average, on the stock heat sink and fan, uh, we were looking at around 55, 60 degrees. I mean, the coolest it's ever been during midwinter is about 45 degrees. So that's quite not bad a saving. I mean if we take the 45 degrees the minimum you're saving 20 degrees see on uh, when it's just idling so uh, not bad um, not bad it's pretty damn good actually to be fair and maximum usually around if I was putting my machine under load could be anywhere between 75 uh, degrees C and 90 degrees C um, but on average it was around 80 81 uh, so we're saving nearly 40 degrees on uh, my on the temperatures under load, so that's damn good. Um, as I said, uh, probably in the previous video, if I didn't, uh, then I'll say it now. I've got an Intel quad core Q6600. Um, its stock value value is 2.4 gigahertz. Now. Because the water cooling kit's in, I've been able to overclock it to 3.4. So this, these temperatures are actually running on a one gig over her, uh, one gig overclock. So we can see here um, that these temperatures look even better now uh, than the with the 3.4 overclock stable. Um, I uh, have been able to boot it into 3.8, but unfortunately um, my board doesn't let me overclock much higher than 3, well, doesn't let me overclock higher than 3.4. Um, the temperatures when I was a boot, when I loaded up core temp in 3.8, you're looking at a minimum of about 44, 50, maximum uh, it was about 60 degrees. So, still quite good. Um, temperatures for such an overclock um, 
and just amazing. Um, and so if you bear with me, I will give you my final thoughts. So, final thoughts on the EK240 LT kit. It's a great kit. Um, I'm, I've never used any water cooling solutions before. Um, and I'd have to say all the instructions were really clear on how to install it. Um, it was really easy to get it in and working. Um, for first time water user, um, I have to say you couldn't go far wrong by buying one of these EK kits. It's more expensive. I mean, it's 130 pound if you, or 135 pound if you include shipping. Um, it's about 127 uh, without shipping. I mean, and uh, that's in English uh, sterling. So it's more expensive than you say your Corsair H series. Um, but I think personally, I'm glad I went for the EK kit rather than the Corsair H80 or H100 for it, let's say. Um, it's just, I mean, look at the temperatures, uh, they're, they're just amazing. Um, and the option to keep using it when you upgrade your system uh, because of the immense range of uh, socket support is just amazing. Um, EK have really pushed uh, pushed to market a great little solution here for your first time uh, water users and um, unlike the Corsair H, H series um, or any of those kind of sealed all-in-one water cooling systems you've got the option here that you can just add what you need to it which I, I really like it's kind of like if I wanted to water cool my graphics card in future I can just quite happily um, buy an EK or any kind of water block for the graphics card and uh, just plug it plug it in and uh, away we go I mean obviously if you're gonna start water cooling your north and south bridges on your uh, motherboard and your uh, graphics card and you're gonna have either a crossfire SLI a graphics card set up with both of them water cooled you're probably gonna be wanting to look at something a bit more heavy duty for your water cooling options than the 240 kit um, but for what I need it for it's amazing I mean CPU cooling you could probably get away with a 120 um, just for the CPU but I got the 240 because in future I want to water cool a graphics card um, and the pump is more or less silent you can't hear it uh, the fans that come with it not the greatest I mean but they're decent all, all the same um, some of the tooling on the uh, parts like the uh, screws and the nuts and things like that could be better. Um, there's quite a few screws whose uh, which screw heads had been um, cut off or um, bolts and nuts and things that hadn't actually been through a, a tapping machine, so they had no thread on. Um, minor complaints, really. Um, in, in compared to the performance you get out of it at the end. As I say, I'd definitely rate this as um, a really good starter kit. And, um, I mean, 127 quid, it, it's a lot of money, but you've got a lot of use out of it, you know what I mean? Um, if I was going to do an SLI setup with this, I'd probably look at getting a, a bit of a bigger radiator and a bit of a stronger pump, maybe. But, uh, as I say, I'm... I'm new to this whole water cooling malarkey so I I'm still learning um, so I ask other people I <laughs> don't come to me for information just yet about uh, water cooling water cooling loops and SLI and all this kind of stuff because I've still got to upgrade my machine yet <laughs> so uh, yeah EK240LT brilliant